Shout out to the fellas over at the Fresh and the Fit podcast. This one just came across my timeline. Apparently, Frank Castle kicked out a dude on the show. I think that is the first time that they kicked out of a, a dude. So I wanted to go over it. And I wanted to see what happened. I have not seen this, but I just saw that there's two clips. One that kind of goes over his initial reaction and then the actual kick out. So I want to give you guys my thoughts. Without further ado. Um, okay, so definitely approach me in person. Um, but you have to be part of like my everyday routine. That's how I've met my boyfriends in the past. What? Is that yeah. explain that <laughs> real quick? I just mean, like I have to see you like multiple times. Yeah, like if you work at buy... Starbucks at the drive thru, like you give if you I'm there every, every day. day. Yeah, <laughs> you start talking to me every day. You start like... giving it to you for free. <laughs> <laughs> every day. <laughs> That's not funny. Something like that. Like you have to be part of like my everyday routine and then it has to be like, you know, we just run into each other and start talking. <laughs> okay. So what about the gym? Should a guy put you in the gym? Oh, it depends. I'm very friendly. I love to talk to anybody that comes up. Just real quick, let me comment on this. The first thing that I notice is if you look at his eyes and the way that he's looking at her, um, and as well, some of the things with his body language, he looks like he's on something. He looks like he's on something. But I think it's important for, you know, not even the podcast than themselves, is when they're bringing in folks that they, that they do not know. Um, I think that the inebriation sometimes can be good for, you know, the particular reaction or something like that. But it's like when they get too inebriated and they're doing too many dumb comments and shit like that, like it must be a tough situation to get in if you don't realize it until they actually sit down. You know what I'm saying? But he's clearly on something. Maybe it's just alcohol or something. But let's see what he has to say. To me. So if you come up to me, I'll probably talk to you. But would you smash? But uh, nope. only if you're like, <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, wait okay i wouldn't friend. smash because i don't just like jump into that mm -hmm. but um yeah, look at the body language okay. i don't know i'll probably like flirt with you a lot you'll, you you'll know if i'm into you there you go i wonder if they ask them a question before they get on like yo have you had something to drink have you done drugs before you get on i mean i would assume not if they let a gentleman like him get on in his clearly um subdued state but you know let's keep going Okay. Translation, she'll take your free non-sexual attention. Free attention. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she'll do. Okay. All right. Um for me it's like it's confidence. Like like what what Myron just said, like if you come up to me, like I appreciate that. I think that it's like I like that. Like take the initiative. Maybe I won't like you, maybe I won't be into it, but like for me that's a big thing because I find that a lot of men will tell me, oh, I was intimidated. And I'm like, but you don't even know me. You're just intimidated by what you see on my Instagram. Mm -hmm. And you don't even know that I have this whole other life of things that I don't show. So I really appreciate a man that can just, like, you can come up to me at the gym. You can come up to me wherever. I mean, please don't honk your horn at the gas station. <laughs> um, and maybe I'll give you the time of day and maybe I won't. But I always appreciate someone that is with, you know, balls like that goes for it. Like come okay. up to me, <laughs> Got like, it. be a man. Like honestly, that's that's what I appreciate. Got so. it. Uh, let, let me also comment on this real quick. I think Fresh and Fit get a lot of flack for only inviting on essentially what I call over here hood boogers. I don't see that from the young ladies that have been speaking so far. I just see you know women just talking about shit. You know what I'm saying? So. I don't know. Maybe in the beginning they were inviting uh, a certain type of in a caliber, but it's clear that that these are not those types. So let's keep going. You want a confident man to approach you? Correct. Don't That's be a me. Don't be a pussy. <laughs> He's like, like, here yeah. I am. They just throw fucking pussy at me like frisbees, nigga. I got catch it, bro. And I goddamn can catch what I want. There you go. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta catch it, bro. No. Nah, goddamn, can catch what I want. Uh oh. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Da -da. He's getting. <laughs> nice. 
That's Castle coming out right here. That's a furtive glance if I'd have never seen one. He's like, oh, get this motherfucker out of here. What a- Bitches throw, p- throw pussy like at me like Fizzbee, son. Dog, that's the first thing that you can identify uh, the weakest person in the room is the one that makes these kind of suggestions of how alpha that they are or how much vagina that they get, right? Like, or how much money that they make, right? Like, and he's and he's doing like weird shit, like wearing two gl- uh, watches and shit like that. There's a bunch of weird things um, that you can sense from... Uh, young, insecure men like this. And uh, hopefully you guys can look at content like this and be able to tell the difference between the real and the fake. You understand me? But let's go back in. There you go. You got to catch good credit. You got to catch fucking million followers, bitch. Good <laughs> bitch with a nice job, a nice family. Good what? heart, right? Shit like yeah. that. Whatever you want, bro. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Whatever you want, bro. <laughs> I mean, kind of saying what she said. Like, confidence is number one. I've met boyfriends in person. I've met them online i've really done it all yeah. um so i really think it matters like if i talking to mike if i yeah so i've met guys in all circumstances except the gym don't do the gym you're in your zone and if i'm walking don't honk like, same thing like just respect like if the person's looking like they're open to talking then you can speak but yeah but <laughs> so how does a dude know that you're open to talking like <laughs> like it's so crazy. It's, I just feel like women sometimes when they when they just talk about like the privilege that they currently sit in, they just don't often conceptualize how it is on the other side of the coin. How's a dude supposed to know what's open or what's not? You know what I'm saying? That, like going up to a woman in the gym while she's working out, yeah, yeah that that's probably that's disrespect, right? Right? Like let her finish her workout. But if it's on her way to the locker room, then what? It's all still in the gym. Okay, context matters. Okay. But catcalling at the end of the day is some weird shit. Don't do, don't be doing that shit. K- dick pics and catcalling, gents. We gotta please, please stop it, stop it. All right. It's like on her phone. Let's see if her headphones are in. Don't speak. If her headphones are in. Don't make her take them out. But other than that, just you do you. If the vibes are right, you'll feel it. If cool. not, yeah, you know. And MK, bro, <laughs> how do you approach girls, bro? Nowadays, or do, you said they approach you, but like, how would you do it? I didn't say they approach me. No. What? If they a fan, probably. Mm-hmm. You know, I just go, if she fine, mm-hmm. I'm finna go up to her. Just like that, I got all the nuts in the world. I get, <laughs> I don't give a fuck where we at. Airplane, gym, fucking they mama house. If I <laughs> fucking like them, I'm finna come. <laughs> See me, some people don't like to just give out their number, right? It's right. a thing, some people don't wanna just do that. So I got so much fucking clout on the internet, I just ask for any of their social, so I'd be like, What's your Instagram, girl? I want to follow you. You look good. I want to see. She'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah. Then when she see my fucking blue check, and I tell her that shit, and then, yeah, it's on. From there, then it's like love at first sight, right? Oh, my God. He's embarrassing. Here's the thing is that, you know, he might be so inebriated that, you know, he feels like he's flowing. He feels like that he makes sense. But, you know, he might have woke up in the morning and felt ultimately embarrassed about his particular showing. So how about this? Let, uh, let's actually go to the actual kickout video. Uh, let me bring that up on the screen right now. You basically asked you, uh, who hurt us and why do we have this mindset, right? Oh, no, lines. no, no, no. Like, who hurt you and how did you bounce back from that or what did you learn? So I'll say this. No woman has actually ever hurt me. Uh, what happened was I always say smart people learn from their mistakes. Wise people learn from other people's mistakes. Mm-hmm. So I watched my friends get destroyed uh, okay. from relationships. I, I've seen a couple of my friends. Uh, really go through it with, you know, re- relationships from casual all the way to girlfriend to marriage to getting destroyed by divorce. And the thing I've learned is that as a man, if you work on yourself, you get in shape, you get your confidence up and you take care of yourself. Um, the world is your oyster, right? Mm-hmm. You know, I always say uh, men, women, men must create their value. Women are just born with value. So mm-hmm. or must preserve their value better yet. Mm-hmm. So with that said, you know, I worked on myself. I focused on uh, most of my 20s. I focused on like, you know, becoming successful, earning money, saving money uh, for my prior life that I used to have. And, uh, you know, it helped me build a lot of uh, characteristics and traits that would help me be uh, successful in other aspects of life. But the point is, is that um, I just learned from my other friends' mistakes. So I kind of okay. figured out and, and from my Muslim background, too, my mom kind of was like yeah. always telling me, hey, uh, you probably it's probably not within your best interest to marry a woman from the West because they don't have the mm-hmm. same ideals that we do. And uh, she's right. I mean, if you if you take a modern day woman from the West, let's be honest, yeah. she's gonna be strong and independent. She's if you tell her, hey, can you cook and you clean? She's gonna look at you like, fuck you. Um, I, I, I bring I'm money. your slave. I bring yeah. money into this. A lot of them. She's gonna look at you as an equal. And unfortunately, men and women are not equal. And the problem is, which a lot of guys don't want to say, but I'll say it anyway. Mm-hmm. They're scared to say this. 
Women want traditional men that will sit there and protect them and earn more than them, but they don't want to be traditional women. So yeah. understanding the landscape of the dating marketplace here, it's more it's, it's better for me as a guy, especially just play the field, do what I want to do. Why am yeah. I going to commit to a woman that, quite frankly, isn't worth that commitment most of the time? And it's such a good point, it, like in a sense that, you know, in order for a young man that has worked as hard as he goddamn could to do all of the things that Myron is talking about, to build up who he is as a man, to work in his masculinity, his manhood, all right, to get the financial foundation, to move and shake and do some shit outside of the average, outside of the ordinary, right, that can command attention from women because of what he's built, right? Like the you, the business case for getting me to give up the lifestyle that I currently live the waking up in the morning, do whatever the hell that I want, going to sleep, doing whatever the hell that, like in order to in order to give that up, the use case for allowing you into my life, the business case rather, to allow you into my life, the juice got to be worth the squeeze. So that's why you see so many more dudes as well, just waiting and pushing it off and shit. I'm about to I'm about to turn 36 and not too long, and it's still at the same time like I'm waiting and pushing off in the LTR because like at the end of the day, I'm loving life right now. I'm thoroughly enjoying myself, and it seems like no matter the the steps in the age that I gain, you know what I'm saying, that I can still command the attention of a mid 20 year old. So it's just like, well, what's the rush? Anyway, let's continue. And if I do get her. She's going to have to accept the rule that she's going to have to share me. I'm not going to be monogamous to one girl. That's stupid. So that's how I look <laughs> so at it. So you're picking qualified oh women. My. I want to hear what you have to you. say because you're laughing over I here. I'm in it. Uh, I, I, and I'm a Muslim. Look, I got almost right there. You see it right there. I ain't, I'm a Muslim. I ain't got, uh, I don't know. I ain't in it. I ain't got to say right. shit to say about it. I, I don't agree though. I, mean, you say, I can't ever put what? down. I got two daughters. I love my, I was raised by my mom and my sister. Uh, okay. I got, hella girls working for me for shit that I do besides of what I'm so good at and the world's best at. Okay, raised by his mom and his sister, so nothing but ladies in and around the house. Guys, take a look at his mannerisms. There should be some key red flags and some indicators. If you guys have this kind of like weird kind of mannerisms and a man says something and has a position and you're trying to like undercut him, especially going to his own show and trying to disrespect oddly and weirdly. I don't know what he's about to say right now, but you can kind of tell like the slide, weird, wounded, feminine behavior that's just pouring out of his skin. It like literally repulses me. It literally disgusts me. You know what I'm saying? And what's interesting is what's different about this clip versus the original clip is the original clip I would assume is earlier than this. Well, of course, because he got kicked out right after this, but it's earlier than this. So they were kind of still sizing everybody up, but people were like laughing across the table and shit like that at the corny jokes. But at this point, you can see there's a lot less laughs that are going around because there's some others that probably have picked up on the weird uh, and passive aggressive behavior. But let's keep going. And I would never treat a girl like bad or top bad. So I don't know. I ain't in it. So fuck right. that. Next. <laughs> Put y'all on. <laughs> uh, I'm Muslim. Weird. Too. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you are? I mm -hmm. ain't see nowhere in where I ever. No, is... I would never. Next. Uh, Next. Excuse me. Okay. Um, never what? I'm confused. Talk like say just anything bad. Like I don't know a lot of things. There's a lot of things like if you're Muslim, like you gotta be so. Man, Muslim represents a lot of good, and is you gotta do good. Like I saw a girl pay five dollars. You they couldn't even say her name correctly. Disrespect her name. She, I was just like, man, there's a lot of things, but it's not my. It's not. I'm not in the place to say this y'all show. So y'all do the show how y'all do it. Uh, look, look at the body language from all the women. Look, just just take a quick look. Look at it. Look at it. They're all like looking down. They all they because they probably all <laughs> they probably all all already know that Frank Castle don't play no goddamn games. The only one that's even looking at him and paying attention to his embarrassing banter is the one that's right over here. And even still, she you could she has a backward, she's not like in the conversation paying attention to him. It's kind of like a backward, like, shut up, stupid. But just look at all of his mannerisms. Like this is this is this is the uh, the puff out my chest talk shit alpha uh, type of persona. But then deep down, you know what I'm saying, has the emotionalism of a wounded little girl. And I'm sure, like visually, we see it exponentially more so because there's something within his bloodstream right now. All right, let's keep going. But me as Muslim and as a good man, as an alpha male, as the best in the world, uh, best in the world. I, I do the right thing always. So. I don't know. That's why I said I ain't got it. Anything I say is gonna be strong as fuck. So you gotta be careful talking to me. So um, God. yeah, power. 
Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you just said just now, man. I know it's too strong to understand. I'm sure everybody else understood. Mm -hmm. I just can't fucking talk like that. So that's all I'm saying. All right, man. Well, I'm going to talk the way that I want to talk. Yeah, you can. If there's a problem about it, you can leave. That's what I said. That's what I said. You know, I just, I I don't agree. Yo, you know what's crazy? It's like, uh, take out the deep bravado within his voice and, and think of everything that he's saying. Replay this whole back and then put a woman right there in his position. And it starts to like make a little bit more sense. Right. This is not how men talk to each other. This is not how men have conversations with each other. Right. This weird, slick, sly shit, this passive aggressive shit. And at the end of that, to cap that off with. But, you you know, you're going to talk to me like anything th- 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 like, oh, my God. Like, man, if you can't sn- sniff out a phony looking at this shit, <laughs> if you can't sniff out a phony, you want some shit. Take notes. That y'all show. I ain't tried to slide. No, no, no man. We good. Me, right? We're good. I- yeah. I'd like for you to leave now at this point. I'll leave. I'd like man, for you to leave. I, y'all took too much of my time. I'd like for you to leave. Well, I'll leave this motherfucker. Well, yeah. I'll leave this motherfucker. I'd like for you to leave. I'm out this motherfucker. You know what's interesting is that he's saying, I would like for you to leave as opposed to get the out, which is what I usually see. So maybe maybe Frank Castle is starting to pull back a little bit of the Castleism. Let's keep going. I'll give you That's cool. Okay. I'm the bear. I'm the boy from the bear. Okay. I think DJ Khaled's the best. Right. <laughs> I was just confused. Was he saying he didn't? No, agree I think what no, he didn't agree with what he said. No, no, I think about no, no, women. I don't think he understood. Okay, as a Muslim, you're allowed to marry up to four wives, right? Yeah. Huh? And when you yeah, still, yeah, and still? I don't think he understood the word <laughs> monogamous. So I think when he heard him say like, "Why the f would uh, I stay with one girl to myself?" He right. didn't understand the concept. Uh, you know, I, even still, I think it's even outside of being a Muslim. I, I think if he has the opinion that he would have multiple women, you know, that's just his opinion. And it doesn't mean that he's being inherently disrespectful. But if you grew up under a single mother in this modern culture, then, yeah, you're probably going to, as a man, view that as him saying that from a disrespectful lens. But we know over here, looking at it from a numbers perspective, shit, when most women want to get married and there's more women than dudes especially specific to certain races then the numbers would say that many of them will not reach their goal unless they then arise to the occasion of finding it okay that they can have one dude who has multiple women i mean that's just a math equation at the end of the day let's keep rocking so i think he just thought he was does he just that's something for everybody dumb? that says oh, said only frank girl. castle's girls I hold everybody uh, accountable, bro. Ain't nobody coming to show this. That was the calmest I, kick I, out I, I've I ever agree. seen. Oh, shit. Religion. Oh, that's fine. Uh, yeah, that's definitely uh, him. I'll, I'll give it to him. Room. Yeah. I'll give it to him. Oh, okay. Be nice. Sorry. No, no, no. no. You, don't, you don't talk about that shit. <sighs> okay. What is your thought? What's going through your head right now, bro? Because I, I, I can He's see you were getting heated. Uh, I, was, I was angry from the beginning. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I was angry yeah. from the beginning. So, that another so clip. you know, you don't come on someone's platform fucking high. I already have a low tolerance for people that do drugs. Mm-hmm. Pisses me off. Yeah, so, so, you know, obviously I had a respect for Walt because he brought him on. Mm-hmm. I didn't say nothing. I was like, you know what? Let's just see what happens. But then he just started making like... He was degrading the quality. comments, not really tr- contributing to the conversation. I don't give a fuck how yeah. much clout you have, nigga. Like, get off my show. Fuck he out of here. kind of wasn't making sense. He had no sense. value. You know <laughs> no value. Yeah, he's, Zero value. He's no, kind of a bit too high. No. Uh, I thought there. he was. Yeah, nah, you're not going to come on my shit and like just, you know, fuck up the quality and all this other shit. It's like, nah, bro. It's disrespectful as fuck. Um, yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's a, it's just, yeah, I mean that's a fantastic point. He came on his shit and was goddamn high. Like, it, what, what is, what are you thinking? You know what I'm saying? But you know, at the same time, you know, I see shit like that, and I just see dudes that are particularly wounded within life, and you know, living life fast. You know, not really with much strategy, and, and maybe had a couple of successes within business. You know what I'm saying? But then kind of haphazardly go into future business decisions and kind of fumble it all away and you know what i'm saying at the end of the day if the young brother does have some type of uh, abuse problem hopefully he gets an intervention hopefully someone sees it and he gets the help that he needs but it's oftentimes failures like this often fortify who we are as man the most or the best you understand me like just as he said earlier there's two ways to learn something either you're going to experience it yourself or as a wise man you're going to look at other people's situations and experiences and say boom i ain't going to do that shit again it's clear that the dude who came through experienced this l right here by the way that he act and then coming in inebriated so hopefully he can learn from that particular situation and take the learnings of that forth but i'm going to learn from that situation <laughs> y'all should learn from that situation because we all wise over here you understand what i'm saying
questions, comments, concerns, y'all already know what to do. Mediocre tutorials and reviews at gmail.com. Guys, feel free to hit me up. Got a Patreon as well. We are booming over there. All right. Over 650 members in the building. Click on the link down in the description box down below to see all of the benefits and the resources that are in store to get closer to me and to have resources to increase your value going into the future. Last but not least, I got an Instagram. At Mini Eagle Tutorials and Reviews is a link down in there. Feel free to come up and follow your boy. Send me some content. Also, I've been posting up there. Until next time, YouTube. Peace. Hey.